Buddhism in a nutshell. Okay. What is Buddhism? Someone comes up to you. You're a Buddhist. You're raised Buddhist. What is Buddhism? That is really a, a very, very important question. We have to have something that we understand that we can say. Um, and I speak from experience because I was embarrassed in college when I was asked, so you're a Buddhist, what is Buddhism? Huh? I was raised going to the Buddhist temple of San Francisco. And when I was asked this question, I thought, well, let's see, we do origami, <laughs> we have beads, and uh, once I made this wheel out of popsicle sticks, and we pasted pictures in a book, Remember when we used to do that? Huh. Huh. Yeah. And so, uh, I, and yeah, I had nothing to say. Huh. And I was asked during a class. This was a class, I was a psych major, and uh, they were talking about different dimensions of our lives that impact on our personality development, one of which was religion. They went around the class, and this is the 60s at Berkeley, talking about religion and what religion are you? And it came to me, and I said, well, I'm agnostic. You know, I had, I had stopped going to the temple some years ago. And uh, the instructor said, well, I think most, many kids now in college are agnostic. What religion were you raised? And I said, oh, I was raised a Buddhist. In the class, I could see, you could feel the energy. People went, whoa, you were raised a Buddhist? This is 1968, huh? And all the interest in Buddhism, especially in, you know, at, at that time, wow. And the, they, they looked at me like, wow, man, you were raised a Buddhist. We got a live one. And, <laughs> and he speaks English. Huh. <laughs> and so they said, what's Buddhism all about? What is it all about? And, you know, come on. I'm a junior at Cal. What am I? Sp I don't want to say, oh, I don't know. Uh, so, so my mom, uh, interesting, when I asked her years before um, to describe what were we like, my brothers and sisters and I were growing up, she described each of us, and then she didn't ask, say anything about me. And I said, well, Mom, how about me? What was I like when I was growing up? What? And she said this. She said, you are clever. Huh. She said, I was clever. I said, that's it? Clever? <laughs> and, but I guess she's right. There's something probably that mom knows. And at that moment, my, my I guess, cleverness was uh, really helped out because when I was asked, well, tell us, what's Buddhism all about? I said, well, how much time left to class? They said, 20 minutes. I said, hey. 20 minutes, don't even get me started. <laughs> 20 minutes, insufficient time. As soon as I start, get into it, I mean, it'll be over. <laughs> nah, so. And then they said, well, how about next time? I said, sure, yeah, next time is fine. So I had from Thursday to Tuesday <laughs> to understand the Dharma. <laughs> and I went to the bookstore, I went to the library, and I started to read. And I heard San Francisco Buddhist Temple had a new young minister. And so I went back across the bay some 12 miles <laughs> back to my hometown and uh, met the new young minister at the San Francisco Buddhist Temple. And his name was Koshing Ogui, <laughs> who is now the bishop of BCA. And uh, we became um, very good friends. And he helped me a great deal, introduced me to so many new thoughts, and uh, became, at that point, uh, also a mentor in my life. And uh, uh, Socho Gui is clearly a chance taker, because some years later, he wrote my letter of recommendation to study. But um, at that time, you know, I was fascinated with what I was learning. So many things that I didn't realize Buddhism was. And so, you know, to make a long story a little shorter, I did, I got through the following Tuesday pretty well. But more than that, 
I became really curious about the Dharma. Uh, suddenly, I wanted to know more about it. Wow, this is pretty interesting stuff. And then I realized we have to have something to say. We should know what does this mean to us. And so, um, what is Buddhism? From that moment in that classroom, huh, became important for me to try to share for people to have a feel for themselves, what is Buddhism? So this is what I want you to leave with today, if nothing else. Okay? Buddhism is the teaching of, and you know this, but just to hear it. Buddhism is the teaching of impermanence. Hmm? Yeah. If you say that alone, you're in there. You could stop right there and be just absolutely correct. Okay? Buddhism is the teaching of impermanence. It's one of the three essential foundation teachings. Buddhism is the teaching of impermanence, the teaching of change. Buddhism teaches the reality that in life nothing can last forever. Everything is constantly changing. Nothing stays the same moment to moment. Huh. Yeah. And this understanding of impermanence is the seed of wisdom. It's easy to know, hard to live. Huh. Really understanding impermanence. And as I teach my kids, nine, ten years old, I ask them, is impermanence good or bad? Huh. And the answer, the response is this. Neither. It's reality. Huh. Impermanence is not good or bad. Impermanence is reality. The truth of impermanence is reality. Is this something for you to believe? Buddhism teaches this. Are we supposed to believe this? No. You're supposed to test it. Is it true? Look at your life. Is it true? And if it is, then apply it. Huh. Apply it. Live with awareness that this is reality. Open our eyes to impermanence, and our wisdom, dharma eyes begin to open. Huh? So Buddhism is the teaching of impermanence.